very dear to my heart. The duty of a military chaplain is to help guide the hearts and minds of the soldiers that he serves or she serves with. And that comes from a perspective of a background of their own faith, but also the respect to the faiths of others that they serve with. Making sure that all feel a responsibility to not only to their job, their mission, but also to themselves, that they are being all that they can be in their own careers, in their own missions. But just again, here we go again, as the old saying goes. Recently in my district, an Army chaplain gave a suicide awareness and prevention brief as required by the Army and received a letter of concern in his official record. A letter of concern is a, is means, it means to admonish a soldier's actions. The chaplain did not infringe upon anyone's rights, did not receive any complaints from anyone being briefed that day, but after the chaplain's actions were reviewed, he was considered to have not violated any Army regulation or policy, yet his negative counseling remains. Simply because at a time in which our society is dealing with soldiers and airmen who are struggling with depression and struggling with suicide rates, he had the audacity to share his own experience with depression and how his faith helped him. What is a chaplain supposed to do except to share from his own heart in a way that is encouraging to others of whether they have faith or no faith? I hope, no, I pray counseling rec this counseling record will reflect soon his innocence. The Military Association of Atheists and Freethinkers decided to characterize the chaplain's briefing as evangelism and mental health training. The MAAF goes on to say that receiving Christian doctrine as a way to combat depression and suicidal thoughts would increase the amounts of suicides in the military. This statement belittles the belief of soldiers who feel their faith may help them through difficult and troubling times. Apparently, the MAAF feel only their systems of belief are worth propagating and any others are irrelevant, if not damaging to a soldier's emotional health. As a military chaplain, all I have to say to the MAAF is that if it protects and helps someone value life, keep their own life, then what they need to do is be reminded that they have an opinion, so does everyone else. It's time that they lived up to their own thought, that thoughts matter, and that what this chaplain did should be reversed. It should not reflect on his record. When you have somebody actually in the game trying to help, it's not the time for little people on the outside to criticize. They need to get a new direction, a new focus, and this chaplain needs to be restored and this letter removed. With that, I yield. Gentleman yields back.